Today I'm taking a request from one of my subscribers to do a video. What would happen if Miguel was to fight a young Mike Barnes? Hope you enjoy. What's up boys and girls, my name is Vin Jimfail. Hope you're having a smashing day and this is your first time to the channel, you know what to do. So, uh, this is an interesting video. Uh, for a number of reasons, uh, as a YouTuber, for me personally, I gotta say what I'm mostly interested is to see, and this is very meta of me to be talking like behind the stage <laughs> of the video while I'm currently making it, but I'm actually really curious to see how well this video is gonna perform. And the reason is because whenever I make a Mike Barnes video, they go, they like get really, really popular, okay? And whenever I make a Miguel video, they also get very, very popular. So if I have, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm, you know what I'm getting at? Like if I'm gonna make this video where I have Miguel and Mike Barnes, you know, talking about those two characters, two very popular characters, what's that gonna do for my statistics? That's gonna be fun to check out. Um, Anyway, I, I should stop being all meta and just get right into the subject at hand. By the way, I, I really hope that you're all doing great because I, I just really love my subscribers. I really do. Like, you mean the world to me. Okay, let's do this. Just let's stop with the jibba jabba, okay? Let's just, it feels like I'm prolonging and I'm not. Okay, it's not like I'm trying to read some kind of three minute rule on YouTube, a trick. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna. Miguel versus Mike Barnes. So, um, first we have to establish the rules as we usually do when we make these type of videos. Okay, so Mike Barnes, we're gonna aim for the Mike Barnes in uh, Karate Kid Part 3 versus Miguel in Season 1 because then we haven't seen Season 2 at the moment of recording this video. So, um, so I mean... <sighs> At first glance, you know, just uh, I think that we're all thinking the same thing here that Mike Barnes would just kill uh, Miguel, okay? Like, I, I doubt that anyone would think differently. I mean, you could be like a real hardcore fan of Miguel, and yes, he was like starting to get his bad chops, you know, at the end there, like, uh, you know, in the final episode when he was like really giving it to uh, Robbie, you know, but he was very upset and. You know, Johnny Lawrence, he did see some kind of a talent in Miguel. There's something there. And I, for one, I agree. Like, there's something very interesting and kind of unique about Miguel's fighting style. He has that something. I, I just don't know where to, what, like, how to exactly put it. You know, it, it's like he's got this his really cool skill, like, a, he's like a Spider-Man. I mean, to me, he's like Peter Parker slash Spider-Man, you know, jumping around, doing all sorts of cool tricks. And he's fighting in a very different way from Daniel and basically everyone in the entire Karate Kid franchise. There's something unique there, you know, there is. But Mike Barnes, that's a brutal fighter, you know what I mean? Like, that's a really brutal fighter. Now, I've made videos where I've explained why uh, Mike Barnes would lose in certain situations where uh, we're talking about where he couldn't use his number one weapon, which is fear, intimidation. And in this situation, I gotta tell you, I personally think, even with without the influence of Terry Silver, I think Mike Barnes would be able to intimidate Miguel, like, furiously. And we haven't exactly seen how well Miguel performs under pressure. I mean, yeah, he, he did get, like, beat up, and that was before he had any skills. But the moment he got skills, like, he could just let his skills completely take over. That's what I... That's what I found very impressive about Miguel's fighting style. Yeah, I think I have the right words for it now. When Daniel fought, he was skilled, like, no arguments there, he was really, really skilled, but there was this, he had this fear, which was sort of cramping his style, you can sort of see it when he was fighting Dutch, whenever he was fighting someone he was afraid of, it would cramp his style, and if he didn't have his skills and technique, he would be lost, you know, but with Miguel, what I get the feeling is, like, Miguel, 
he's not afraid when he has his skills. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't get intimidated. He wasn't intimidated about those thugs in the cafeteria. He just whooped their butts completely. I didn't see a, a, a lash of fear at all in Miguel. So me personally, you know, I got to say, I think that, uh, you know, it's, it's really interesting though. Like what I'm thinking here, like is what would have happened if Miguel really would have fought a young Mike Barnes, like, well, unfortunately, we'll never find out because Mike Barnes, if he ever returns, he'll be slightly older, you know, more experienced and all. But, but still, though, it, it, it is a very interesting setup, though. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm stunned, you know, by the question at hand here, which I've never been at this level as I'm making this video right now. Like, I really don't know exactly what would happen I, i'm just gonna wing it like i'm just gonna guess but before i get into it like um i gotta say though like mike barnes if he does not have his intimidation he does have skill and he does have raw power i mean the guy has muscles or had or you know and miguel is it unfair of me to say that he's kind of a skinny person you know not too much muscles you know um uh, also you know you gotta take into consideration that mike barnes was a champion a u.s uh, national champion of some sorts and uh like he was so good that you just knew that he could be in a tournament and just beat up everyone and with miguel He's sort of a wild card, you know. Um, so I don't know. Maybe we also have to discuss the situation. Are we talking about the tournament or are we talking about, um, you know, a, a street fight? You know, street fight. I, I, I'm just gonna say that I, I'm dead certain that Mike Barnes would beat Miguel completely. You know, because there is so much cheating in uh, young Mike. You know, so um, yeah. But when we have established rules in a tournament, I, you know, that's the advantage definitely goes to Miguel there because Miguel is skilled. He fights according to the rules and he makes the most use of his skills there. And Mike Barnes, he's like sort of always on the edge, although he never loses control. You know, he never like he can get angry, but he's so in control of his emotions that, you know, he can still, I think he can control himself if he really wants to. And he never really completely loses it. He's like in complete control. And then here's the interesting part though. If we say that Miguel would be a good fight for Mike Barnes and Mike Barnes is basically unbeatable there is always the secret weapon, which unfortunately for Miguel, he does not possess the skill of Kata. He just does not know Kata. Robbie knows Kata. Robbie, I think, could probably beat uh, Mike Barnes. But Miguel, not knowing Kata, it's a toughie. Okay, so... Um, this video got to be a little longer than I anticipated. I'm sorry about the buildup. So I'm just gonna say it. I think, I I think, gosh, this is so hard. I, I really want to say, but it's this, you know, I think this is gonna be the first time where I'm actually gonna say, I think it's gonna be a tie. Yeah, because I think that Miguel has some kind of techniques he's really skillful he's got the techniques down you know and i i just when i see it in my head i i, I just sort of see them struggling and you know the moment uh miguel, you you can't intimidate miguel when he has his skills and he does have his skills you know the moment he has his skills i don't think that mike barnes could intimidate him i just don't like to me i think of them both I've, as kind of bad guys you know like miguel he definitely has a dark side so and i made this argument before when mike barnes he doesn't have his intimidation skills uh working then he's kind of wiggly there you know i mean the guy gets tricked by kata you know i'm just <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> but then again miguel doesn't know kata and this is where it gets really tricky for me so um 
You know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to go with a tie on this one. I just can't tell you which one I think would win and this is a first for me. So, I'm going to leave it to you guys to leave it in the comment section below and let me know who you think would win and why. Make a good good one. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, that was it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, see that like button, smash it. And I got some freakishly awesome videos coming up. Better subscribe so you don't miss a beat. I'll see you later. Peace.